It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Thursday, December 10th, 2020. Number one, described as a long shot, the Donald Trump presidential campaign has taken their latest battle back to the United States Supreme Court. This time, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is charging that four battleground states, Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin, broke the law. The Trump ally asked the high court to block the four states lost by Donald Trump from appointing presidential electors by December 14th. Number two, earlier this week, New York Attorney General Letitia James talked with the co-host of ABC's The View to discuss the presidential election. James predicted that Donald Trump will step down from office and then will have Vice President Mike Pence pardon him. She also predicts Donald Trump will issue pardons to his children, son-in-law, members of his administration, and other close associates before stepping down. Number three, negotiations continue on Capitol Hill as lawmakers work feverishly to pass a new stimulus package before year's end. Tuesday, the Trump administration introduced a $916 billion package that would give most Americans a $600 direct payment. However, the $300 per week unemployment benefit would be eliminated. The House passed a one-week government funding bill to give lawmakers more time to negotiate a deal. Number four, entrepreneur Sandra Deer moved from California to Bayonne, New Jersey and opened the little boho bookshop July 31st, 2017. Just one day later, Deer, who is black, found a threatening letter in the shop's mailbox telling her to leave the area. Deer received similar notes, emails, and phone calls over the last three years. After her story went viral, the little boho bookshop has received overwhelming support from that community. Number five, Amazon is negotiating a deal with a Propel app to provide low-income customers access to its online grocery store. The multinational tech company continues to fight to win over lower-income shoppers that traditionally head to Walmart and are generally overlooked when it comes to innovation. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with George Wallace as we discuss today's top headlines and more. What You Need to Know is brought to you by Black Voters Matter. Visit blackvotersmatterfund.org for more information. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.